another big interview with Anele and the club only on 947. Look, there's no denying Moose has got that thing. Like, no, he's got that Like thing. when he talks, I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. listening. Come yeah, on. I'm listening. <laughs> convince so... me. Convince me. So um, in the last, say, three, four weeks, you, um, you, your party, uh, Build One South Africa, you guys uh, enjoyed a huge victory. Please, can you walk us through that? Because, uh, you know, when you're just a normal citizen, you're quite detached. You're like, oh, okay. Sure, if you you can run for president, you can run to, to you know to 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 run to govern the country. But there's certain processes that that go towards Build One South Africa being on the ballot, yeah. and I see that you achieved that by getting signatures. Can you please explain that to us, like we're stupid? Sure, like no, the IEC made this provision that said anyone who wants to stand for elections, uh -huh. to especially for parties who are not in parliament, need to have. 60, an equivalent of about 60,000 signatures okay. across the country from people, from South Africans who are registered voters. Mm -hmm. And once you've got all of that, then in each province, they can't just be 60,000 from Gauteng. They have to be spread, spread across out. nine provinces. And then you move them across and then you say, come. Then you can qualify to be in the nine provincial elections and the national elections. So the big trick there was... It's difficult to ask people for their signatures and ID number. Yeah. We live in a country yeah. where there's. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't trust you. Yeah, exactly. There's scammers yeah. everywhere. You know, Unless so like, Musi comes to me personally, yes. you can't send none of your people. It has to be you. You know, I was I was literally in in a taxi rank, and I said to this to to Mama, I said, Mama, please, I need your. I don't ask you to vote. I'm not asking you to join. I'm like asking for just your ID number and your signature. She was like, mm -mm. Was, was our Volia count? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, exactly. so Next thing Edgar is calling me. <laughs> next yeah. next oh, thing I'm married oh. or my grant is gone. I think the biggest fear is that people think that they are now exposing mm. their allegiance yeah. and that therefore their grant is gone. And it's actually coincidentally, when we went to the constitutional court, we fought that issue to say, you can't do that. You, yeah. Because people are already fearful about affiliation. Mm -hmm. Don't make it seem as though their vote is no longer a secret oh. because you disqualify people. Mm. But be that as it may, we've deployed, um, just operationally, we've got over a thousand champions on the road every day. We are constantly in regular contact with citizens. We've built a massive operation in a short space of time. Yes, that's, a lot, that's what a yeah. lot of people are saying is that, you know, there's a lot of traction. You know, the, the arrow is green and it's pointing up when it yeah. comes to Build One South Africa. So yeah. did you get the signatures? Yeah, so we got about 140,000 signatures. That's so amazing. We Give went this man a round of applause. Some nah, people, amazing. something. Come on, <laughs> come on. So. Get in there. So our, our, our team is unbelievable. And then we've, we've literally since then just kept the momentum of asking people... Mm. Let's let's work together. And mm. what's great about it is that these are not 140,000 signatures of one particular race. These are South Africans from everywhere in different classes. That's amazing. Because you can't tell people you want to build one South Africa and then end up with just one yeah. set of signatures. You want everybody. And how many how many votes do you need to be in Parliament? Let's say you we ten seats in Parliament, which is what I think would be you know fair, so you can make the the right amount Absolutely. of impact so, that you want to get in Parliament. How so, many votes do you need? So we're targeting two million, and I know people are like, "How?" And I'm like, "It's two million is doable." Plus, I mean, definitely doable. I mean, seventeen million people vote on idols. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure how many vote on mass singer, you but I'm sure the numbers are quite high. Right? high. Like, yes, start high. singing. Start so singing. I'm, I'm gonna start, I'm, that's why I'm easy. Like Sunday like morning. Sunday morning. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, 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 and I'm going. Why you need two million is because one, it's a it's a million disillusioned ANC voters, and mm. the new your voters who are coming on board. It's important because what that does is that it automatically translates to just over 40 seats in parliament. You can control. In a, in a country that's going towards coalitions, mm. the question voters must ask themselves is, well, sitting in the room to decide, you were talking about the five leaders. Mm. Next year, you'll after May, you'll have Julius, you'll have Cyril, you'll have me, you'll have John. Mm. The question you want to answer for yourself is, who do you want making decisions about the future and who can influence? This election is not about big parties. It's about new parties and who holds the balance And individuals. Now, I think this, you, know, yeah. you, you may have touched on it earlier, but I have to stress, 
you know, if you just tuned in, we're chatting to Musi Maimane, the leader of Build One South Africa. I have to stress that we are moving away from party ideologies, right? Because we've seen what has happened to the parties. Like I, mm-hmm. you know, I grew up being the ANC, loving everything about the ANC. But now I love the ANC, but the people running it, I'm starting to question. Do you know yeah. what I'm but saying? But that happens everywhere. And that happens everywhere. Yeah. And I'm glad because now I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking, I'm voting for a person now. Mm. What are you saying? What are you doing? And to me, even little things like you can't separate who you are from where you are at work. How do you treat your family? Mm-hmm. How do you treat your wife? Absolutely. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Those are the things that I'm looking at now. And 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 we must and exactly what you're saying. We must assess even educational qualifications, yeah, the yes. whole bank shoot. Because leaders in a country where institutions are poor, leadership matters. Mm. It's everything. If you had a country that's had democracy for multiple decades, the institutions are strong to safeguard any leadership maneuvering, you know, like if you're the US president, you can't totally collapse the country. Or if you are mm. the prime minister mm. in the UK, mm. you can't. In South Africa, we elect the wrong person. They can totally, totally collapse wreck the thing. Yeah, It's a person. It's got nothing. The president, once they are elected to be president of the country, ceases to be a member of parliament, which means we give them the powers in the constitution to say, go to the union buildings and run the country. Yeah. And because we wrote the constitution in some ways with Mandela in mind, We've given the president extraordinary powers to choose ministers, to to appoint the best leaders around them, to be able to decide who the director of public prosecutions are, to literally, and I'm inspired by leaders who've been able to change their countries. I, I mean, I can even look, if I look at Hakiende Ichilema, he's one of, uh, he's Zambia's president yeah. now, a very good friend of mine. He inherited a mess. Now today, the Zambian kwacha is probably as strong as the South African Rand. If you look at people like Lee Kormyun, the uh, uh he came in and he said, listen, I'm going to fix the education and came in and did that. Now today we talk about Singapore as a powerhouse yeah, in the world. It's totally doable. It's, it's those kinds of people who walk into office with a plan and say, I will take personal responsibility to keep the lights on and make sure this thing works. So off the back end of that, are you, because, you know, people find political parties and, you know, for, the, for their own reasoning, would you turn down money from a funder if you found out that, that they were funding somebody else and that other person you don't agree with the ideals? Or are you just like, look, Anneli, I need to make my political party work and I, so I need the money? So, Anneli, it's a, it's a twofold I- issue, right? There are only a few people in this country who can make out big donations to political parties. The yeah. culture is still nascent. Okay. People are very nervous. So, if you want to raise a, a lot of money, you are invariably parties are talking to similar people. To the so same if, people. Yeah. If you look at the declarations forms, you can kind of see, okay, these ones are funding and people hedge. Yeah. And I think yeah. cu- courage to those people because actually most South Africans kind of go, I'm nervous to find a political party. So they stay back. But what en- ends up happening is that when you're in opposition and you're new, you are in trouble because mm. you can't run without money. But I'm quite excited. One of the things we did is, and inspired by President Obama in their campaign and Emmanuel Macron, we launched a crowdfunding initiative that said, if you want to see a difference in your community, in your city, give your 1,000, 2,000, okay. 5. People have been doing this thing. It's unbelievable to see how, then you democratize. Then I don't even know, as I sit here today, who's given what, who's done what. But I'm inspired by the fact that people are going, I'm going to own my street and I want my street to work. Because yeah. we gave, they gave us the candidates. It's, it's, yeah, but it's that big thing about put your money where your m- mouth yeah, is. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, one of the models Build One South Africa went for is that we said, let the people give us the candidates from communities. Mm. That's why you end up with people like Ayanda Ali or Nobuntu uh. or so many others. They come from, they don't come from politics. They, they're fresh. And so communities then get behind them and say, I want to fund them. But also... In the midst of that, we haven't just done the politics. We said, let's make a difference in our city. So, like, I've been to Limpopo installing boreholes, uh, fixing educational centers to make sure that kids can get blended education and yeah. technology. Do those things so that communities can say, results in the elections or not, And that's the thing, because you're saying, even prior to this person being in power, they're already making a change in my community. So, imagine what they could change when they get, yeah, are. If we gave them exactly. the, the resources of the state. To govern. Yeah. On the way, we found a way for Bosa to, to get some money okay <laughs> yeah i've got a plan stick with me come the 29th of may there could be a proper landscape shift in this country when it comes to politics and who governs and naturally a political party needs money yep. in order to campaign there's, there's <laughs> posters you know you have to feed the volunteers who are jumping on board to me i think we have a plan for you Musi. I'm, I'm i'm all ears i'm are all ears uh, a perfume a cologne Asish. a bosa build one south africa cologne 
halal. We could put it in Edgars, we could have it there at 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 start at Starford left long ago. We can have it at Woolies, we can have it at Truards, Macam. I mean you could sell it at rallies. Right? Right. As long as it's Chanel number 1, not number 5. Right? No, like no. <laughs> We've got an advert for you. Though. All right, I so want to hear. We, we 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 are the sh- you are the shark in the Shark Tank, Frankie and, and we're I. Pitching we're pitching a concept. We're pitching a concept to you. Okay. Here's your advert. Hello South Africa. This is not Musi Maya money here. I'm happy that uh, the honorable member has given a background. Introducing the fragrance that's as bold and dynamic as the vision for a united and prosperous nation. It's time for unity. Eau de Bosa. Bosa. This is not just a fragrance, it's a scent of progress, collaboration, and a whiff of, of a brighter future. As I was saying, we would like uh, the, 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 the tomorrow government to create the more opportunities for the youth. Build one South Africa. Because when you build one South Africa, you deserve to smell success. Bosa. It's not your ordinary perfume. It's the aroma of inclusivity, respect, and the sweet fragrance of democracy. Is there an honorable member who is ready to rise? We believe in building bridges, not walls. We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. Wear it to board meetings, to rallies, family gatherings. Heck, wear it while doing your run on the promenade, Margaret. How do you stay focused on positive things in your life? So South Africa, let's break the barriers and embrace the scent of unity. Build one South Africa. Because the aroma of progress is simply irresistible. What do you think? I am blown away. I am in. (laughs) The the aroma of progress is simply irresistible. The fragrance (laughs) of inclusivity. What do you mean? You know, progress. Uh, What do you think of the AI Moosey voice? I, I'm blown away. I thought to myself, <laughs> when did this come through? I did like, I record this? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. I was, th- I was listening to it. I was like, I want to buy this fragrance. But hey, that's my voice. That's what? that's how you, uh, by the way, that's how we got a new MTN contract. So if, the, if you see it come off your <laughs> Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> you know, I noticed it. It's the 1st of April. I was like, damn it. What's going on? Did it, did it. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know I bought that. <laughs> Uh, I have I have such hope and, and faith in you, Musi, and uh, what you're going to do with Build One South Africa. Uh, come the 29th of May, 2024, what could go wrong for Bosa? Look, I, I mean, I think there's a lot that happens in this election. I would hate for an election to be marred with violence. Mm. I think let's play free and fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's make sure we get as many people on the ground as possible. And then I think, to me, I'm so confident. I'm feeling so good about these elections. I think... Let's just clear the runway. So if 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 nothing is rigged, mm. we will do well. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, right. and 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 I've, I'm very deliberate about that because I think this is going to be the first election where people will have three ballot papers. This is the first election where logistics are different to what we're used to. Uh, it's des- going to be a long the desperation is yeah. at an all-time high. So so to me, let's make sure we get enough resources, get there and make sure that we can safeguard the elections by putting people on there. And, and honestly, this is not just even a BOSA PSA, if I could say it like that. South Africans in general, if you've got nothing to do and you want to save democracy, mm. go volunteer. I don't care for which party. Actually, go volunteer on the polling station. Make sure you are there to count. Mm. Make sure you're there to take pictures of the ballot slip. So that we safeguard our democracy. Protect your democracy. Like, I like, I like get that. There. Get, mm. there. Okay. get there. I like that. Are you going to fly back to Cape Town now? Because th- there's a there's a favor I want to ask you if you're going back to Cape Town. Oh, Yazi. <laughs> you know, Anela and I have got like, like the Cossack jeans just came out <laughs> strongly there. She wants to be like, Nali Tombolo. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta be careful. I'm not taking I'm not chicken. taking luggage. My aunt will be waiting for you. For you at the airport. At, at, at arrival, she'll be there. Can you just take this chicken, please? I cooked it for please, her. Please, please, please. No, because I, I was thinking the Pepsi thing. Yes, we we've got the thing. We've got a problem at the moment, Musi. Is that we've got we got a clue from Pepsi this morning. One puzzle piece. The other one is apparently in Cape Town. Oh yeah. So yeah. can you? I mean, that's why we're asking. Are you going down today? I'll be there. I'll be there this afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe if did, did Carl wait to get back to us? Can Carl do it? He got back just Wait, play his voice not. Good morning, Anelia and the club. It's Carl Wasty here from the Flash Drive in KFM 94.5. I feel like they need to play that Mission Impossible music. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, I got your brief. The Flash Drive family is on it. We got this.
Okay, so you're fine. You don't need to do me the favor. Although I would like for you to be on standby. Whatever you need, Anela. Whatever you need. Like you know, you know, you know. There's love in the room. So as if this man I'm, doesn't I'm, have enough on his plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's running a national organization. My mother used to say, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. Uh-huh. You know, because one that's doing nothing is not gonna do it. Uh-huh. Musi is busy. Okay, right. he's fighting for democracy. This man is going towards the elections, 29th of May. Mm-hmm. I just feel that if he can help me with this Pepsi thing, <laughs> like you know, what well, you. You're gonna give him your vote. No, look. <laughs> oh, but that's that's a, that's a, that's that's what we're trading. That's what we're trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fair trade. Fair, trade, a fair trade. Fair trade. Fair trade. I take. If you vote, I'll take net on ball or sell <laughs> itself. I'll. You know, if you've got a cooked chicken, I'll take it. It's no, fine. But this is why I wanted you to come onto the show because I want people to consider you. Mm. I I do, I, th- this thing of us saying this is who I vote for this is who I've always been when you can see things are crumbling around the organization and the party that you love and you, you want to find ways to question them and you want to find ways to protect the democracy and you want to find ways to make a country proper for our kids and their children I just want you to consider Musi yeah. that's all I want from and, you and like, and like honestly I'm not even trying to like be all super I'm mm. just simply saying I, we've got to get ethical leaders we got to build this country together. Mm. I've shown that we can deliver jobs. Let's fix our schools. And I can promise you, I will do my absolute best to make sure this country works for the future of our kids. Mm. That's there what I'll go. do. There we go. Thank you. And that's all we're going to do. Thank you for visiting Thank us. You. No, no, no. Great Thank fun. You. Thank and you. And I'll see you on the Mars Singer. Yes, I'll see you on the Mars Singer. <laughs> and I'll call you this afternoon around half past five about that Pepsi thing. Okay. <laughs> Let me know. I'm you, there. You are second in line. If Carl Wasty lets me down, I'm, yes. call, uh, I'm calling Bosa. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. We deliver. Yeah. <laughs> Anele and the club on 947.